Southeast Texans are honoring the memory of Deputy Goforth and thanking officers for their duty through small gestures. Kara Dixon reports how they're using subtle signs to show law enforcement they're thankful. Terry Melanson is one of many people in Port Neches trading in signature purple, at least for the day. There's blue flags, there's blue antenna, you know, things. There's a lot of stuff going on with blue. Everybody's wearing blue to honor those on this special day. She's adding a simple stripe of blue tape to her car in support of law enforcement officers. It's just heartwarming because this crazy stuff has just got to stop with the violence and everything. And I think that just across America, we need to honor these men. It signifies unification of law enforcement across the country. Uh, it shows pride and uh, it's like our gang son. Lieutenant Trish Malfino works for the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. This morning, Malfino and other officers gathered for fallen Harris County Deputy Darren Goforth, flashing their lights at the same time, 11 a.m. when the deputy's funeral began, joining others across the state. We see uh, a lot of things like this, uh, emblems, ribbons, signs, uh, in general, uh, more so lately. But uh, it's, it's continual. We, I see it all the time. Uh, we know the public supports us. Makes us feel good. Everybody was at a blue ribbon. <laughs> Carolyn Connolly made her own ribbon and helped decorate the sign at her church. A message of thanks for the people Connolly says she can always rely upon. The Port Natchez police are one of the greatest police officers. They really keep an eye out on everybody and just honor them. I just want to say thank you to them and just let them know that we appreciate what they do. John Wills has a personal interest in officer safety. His daughter is a dispatcher. A lot of times it's kind of a, uh, a job that you don't get much thanks or pay on the back, but we just want to let them know that we're sure proud of them and appreciate what they do. In Jefferson County, Kara Dixon, 6 News on Fox. Lieutenant Malfino says officers have received a tremendous amount of support through many gestures, including some treating them to lunch.